Namaste. I'm Jaya Dabdardar. I'm an Ayurvedic doctor and also a lifestyle coach for uh, beauty contestants, beauty pageant contestants. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, healthcare executive, writer of books, speaker, licensed aesthetician, and uh, Director's Choice Award winner in Mrs. India Connecticut Beauty Pageant in USA. I'm also award winner uh, for Dharma Award and Lifestyle Achievement Award in Integrating Medicine uh, from Physicians Association in Connecticut, USA. I serve multiple boards uh, and honorary professor or faculty member of education institutes. So today I'm here to talk to all the beauty pageant contestants, whether they're contesting for um, Mrs. India or Mrs. World or Miss India or Miss World or any beauty uh, contest. The first thing, even though it is not mentioned as a requirement, the first thing is uh, the body weight. Then the second thing is your confidence. And the third, your intelligence. All of those uh, go together and that has to be in balanced state. So what I do, first I talk to the contestant and I kind of guess uh, what the need is and let them know that you need to balance uh, your weight or you need to balance uh, your confidence level, uh, your happiness, how to share that on your face. Uh, uh, it is very important that your mind should be happy. So happy health uh, is happy mind. And for that, you need to also balance your diet for um, a good digestion that reflects on your skin, that reflects on your hair, your nails. Um, so the definition of beauty doesn't start with the outer appearance, but inner health reflects onto our, our uh, outer appearance. It balances with the intelligence and healthy mindset that represents the beauty within. So uh, once I recommend and find out, then the continuous teaching starts with the online um, classes. So those online classes may include uh, the need of beauty therapy or hair therapy or eyes therapy or gut health or um, diet. Um, it depends uh, from person to person or just the confidence level to increase the confidence level. So uh, this is a very wonderful platform for um, women. At any level you want to participate uh, as a contestant, it increases your confidence and all that reflects on your skin, on your uh, daily activities, uh, on your behavior itself too. And it is a, a challenge to yourself. Does not matter age or uh, 
does not matter that um, I don't know if I will be able to do it or not. Uh, it just do it and uh, then you will know uh, that, you know, how it affects um, and improves your career, uh, your day-to-day -day life, and that reflects into your family as well. So your beauty is the balance of your confidence, your intelligence, and kindness. That is the mind part. If you do not have the combination of all three, your be beauty is not a real beauty. According to Ayurvedic principles, there are three pillars of beauty. Rupam, which is the outer beauty, personalized by radiant healthy complexion, healthy hair, beautiful eyes and all that. Gunam, which refers to inner beauty, characterized by pleasing personality, intelligence of mind and innocence of mind. Vyavastyaga means lasting beauty, which is an essence of beauty within you that feels you younger than your chronological age and that is what you want. In um, Ayurvedic principles, beauty is defined in a holistic term. As we all know that Ayurveda is 5,000 years old healthcare system um, in India, Nature is the god of beauty, an expert cosmetologist of earth. Uh, I have mentioned all that in my beauty book, Be Beautiful Inside Out. So if you get a chance to order, it's on Amazon. Nature provides everything you need to balance the imbalances and maintain health and longevity. All the versatile natural uh, ingredients are offered by uh, Mother Nature to enhance the beauty outside and inside. All the cleansers and nourishers and moisturizers and face pack and astringents and oils and refreshers and scents and toners that we use or exist in nature. There are herbal extracts, powders, essential oils with numerous wonderful cosmetic benefits. Ayurvedic herbal formulations and therapies have many preventative and uh, curative effects to maintain the uh, ideal beauty inside out. So beauty originates and begins from Panchatattva, which is five elements according to Ayurveda and ends in Panchatattva, the natural earth after the death. So beauty originates in mother's womb. According to Ayurvedic theory, perfect balance of healthy mind, body and soul needed to conceive and give birth to a healthy, beautiful and intellectual child, nurturing and nourishing pregnant women helps her to give birth to a beautiful baby inside out. We have to pay attention to all these um, as women and teach the importance of this uh, and educate other women. Ayurveda's beautiful mother and uh, baby ritual uh, or rituals uh, are there. This is the first and important uh, beauty treatment starts uh, in, in the life with the baby and mother. 
So there are many Ayurvedic rituals and uh, therapies for newly born baby and breastfeeding mother to maintain the balance of their healthy body and mind. These are many, uh, sorry, there are many um, ancient secrets of becoming beautiful inside out in, in Ayurveda. There are special postnatal massages and therapies for mother after baby's birth. Mother should be on a special warm uh, vata pacifying diet. What I'm saying that because mother after delivering a baby also can get out and uh, be a contestant uh, uh, after all the uh, six weeks um, relaxing time uh, is over, uh, mother can start the daily routine. Mother gets so tired from the fatigue uh, of the process of going through childbirth. She needs special nurturing, warm herbal oil massages multiple times in a day after delivering a baby. Uh, steam bath with herbal steam, uh, herbal supplements to support her digestion, stress, and special nutrients for breastfeeding. So all these rituals, if uh, not followed, then mother um, shows early aging because it, it is not maintained. Uh, during that time. Ayurvedic rituals balances the imbalances occurred during the pregnancy and the childbirth. So it strengthens the physiology of mind um, and body. After three to four weeks of uh, these individualized therapy, mother feels refreshed, rejuvenated, relaxed from all the stress and uh, ready to take on the challenges at work, uh, or uh, uh, at a, you know, whatever she chooses to do at home um, or just the parenting of newborn. Mother's recovery depends upon restoring her natural balance to the herbs, oils, emotional and social support. Some women take uh, more time than others. This is getting ignored nowadays in uh, new Indian mothers because uh, you know the tendency is to follow the Western traditions. Um, and I get more and more phone calls from, um, on the other hand, from uh, Americans to follow these rituals. Young women look more stressed um, inside and out that reflects on their body inside and out. Mother always get busy in uh, taking care of the baby and uh, you know forgets the self-care, weight management and that's where it starts. Balances and imbalances in the body after uh, you know getting back after giving birth uh, is important. Women go through many stages of their life. It is important to balance the imbalances on timely fashion to um, gain the confidence. So uh, there are a lot of therapies for, uh, Ayurvedic therapies for newborn and mother getting back into the shape, getting back into the routine. It enhances and relaxes uh, the body and mind to establish better sleep and improve the brain function and overall growth of the baby and the mother. Daily massages are recommended um, in Ayurveda in particular seasons, like uh, especially the winter season when um, the skin gets affected. 
सो ब्यूटी अकॉर्डिंग टू आयुर्वेदा इज सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम अकॉर्डिंग टू वेदा एंड उपनिषदा द एंशंट स्क्रिप्ट सत्यम मीन्स द इनर ट्रूथ शिवम मीन्स गुडनेस इन यू एंड सुंदरम मीन्स ब्यूटी विद इन इन साइड Satyam means the truth. It is a true reality. It means the presence of your mind, your body, and your soul. This seeing of existence is the first experience of the mystic contained in the world Satyam. Satyam means the truth, nothing but the absolute truth itself. Shivam. Shivam means worship. Everything that is good, all that is the most precious in you, the ultimate good. The human being who comes to experience the truth starts living the truth immediately. Living the truth is Shivam. All these things are really important uh, for maintaining our beauty. Shivam is the action of truth. The truth itself is the center of the cyclone. But if you experience the truth, the cyclone around you becomes pure godliness. The truth is the only proof of the divine word. Sundaram means absolute beauty. Satyam the truth, Shivam the divine, and Sundaram the beauty. You have seen the beauty of the flowers. You have seen the beauty of stars. You have seen the beauty of the bird. And you have seen the beauties of sunsets and sunrises, right? But the greatest beauty is to see the totality of the mystic. This is the greatest flowering in existence of consciousness itself. It is available only to those who are humble, who are humble enough to receive it. So absolute beauty is the balance of three pillars, which is perfect, harmonious, harmoniously balanced body, mind, and soul. And that is what I teach. Uh, we all have some imbalances that we need to balance by um, encompassing a lifestyle management, diet, and nutrition according to the seasons with the combination of um, breathing exercises, yoga, meditation, seasonal cleansing, dosha balancing with the herbs. If they're not uh, able to balance with anything else, then the herbs are recommended. Um, exercise is very important factor. Digestion and absorption are important in Ayurveda. If agni or fire is weak, you will have stomach problems. Long-term digestive problems create ama, toxins in the body. The toxins create problems in the body and mind. And those toxins reflect on your skin, your hair, and your behavior as well. It may uh, affect the skin tone. It may affect hair thinning. Um, weight gain. Uh, that is the that is the main thing. Ayurveda has prevented your approach. So Ayurveda suggests to take to drink warm water with honey, lemon in the morning. Um, seasonings are necessary for healthy digestion and absorption of the food that you eat on daily basis. When you eat balanced food according to your um, body type or uh, personally what we recommend 
for your constitution and according to the season. It gets digested well and it transforms into orgas. That is the essence of the body. It nourishes us to make us strong and maintain the stronger immune system which reflects on our skin and our mind. Herbs and spices in Ayurveda play an important role in proper digestion, boosting immune system, and maintain the luster of your skin or beauty, which uh, reflects on our health. So Ayurveda for strong, uh, healthy, and long hair. Just in general, because uh, like I said, it's all personalized, individualized. It's different person to person. So according to Ayurveda, the inner beauty of health reflects to the outer parts of the beauty. Here is the beautiful and delicate part. It should be handled very gently. Hair loss can uh, can be very uh, dangerous sometimes. Uh, it can fall very rapidly. Uh, if you don't find a cause, uh, you never know until you see the hair or where are you thin or the baldness. So. Uh, it happens due to the imbalance pitta dosha. Pitta or fire governs our metabolism and responsible for the digestion of food. Pitta is also responsible for the secretions of our hormones. So certain hormonal imbalances that can cause the hair thinning in men and women. So women go through certain uh, stages in their lives where the hormones play a very important and vital role. Um, and that is also true for the weight gains. And that is why um, the lifestyle management coaching and Ayurvedic coaching is important. Uh, so for example, you know, how women go through these stages, puberty, pregnancy, childbirth, menopause, hormonal changes affect the hair growth. The food that we eat provide uh, ingredients, uh, sorry, the nutrients to hair follicles to balance the pitta dosha. Pitta pacifies, uh, pacified diet is recommended by Ayurveda. It includes the cool and sweet type of food. Um, again, it depends person to person, but uh, mostly uh, cucumbers, coconut, buttermilk, which is called amruta in Ayurveda. Um, fruits like melons are recommended in diet. Coconut water, buttermilk, both have high amount of calcium and protein to promote the hair growth. Apart from the uh, food regimen, Ayurveda recommends multiple hair therapies according to the imbalances and rejuvenation purposes that I offer um, in the clinic. Shirodhara, herbal oil drip on the head and shirobasti pouring herbal oil on the head through the donut shaped part are the main therapies for hair fall or the hair related problems. Um, I offer these treatments as a, a licensed beauty therapist um, and I always see the best results. For regular maintenance of healthy and lustrous hair, coconut oil or the oil according to your body type is good for the hair massages. There are scented herbal oils uh, considered for strong hair and uh, it's recommended again according to your body type. Um, but there is another therapy, the pressure point therapy, marma therapy is also recommended, which can be done uh, online, which can be followed online, not done, but followed. Uh, it works as a natural hair strengthener. Um, 
it uh, provides uh, the toning to the hair follicles. Here is a protein matter called keratin. The hair on the head is at different stages of development. It doesn't all fall out together. Hair fall is very natural when um, hair loss is more than the replacement, uh, that thinning and balding sets in. So uh, hair also owes color to melanin-like skin. Uh, this depends mainly on hereditary characteristics and can be influenced by racial factors um, healthy, lux uh, luxurious hair is not difficult to achieve. It needs constant care. Uh, there are dry hair problems that can be solved with the massages and um, recommendation of different types of herbal shampoos and uh, even the herbs changing the diet. Uh, premature graying hair is another thing that can be prevented through the preventative Ayurvedic therapies. Uh, there are multiple other problems uh, that can be resolved by the individual consultations. Um, so that's about the hair, but then the skin beauty of the skin is is very very important does not matter the color of the skin uh, but the skin is the biggest organ of the human body and it plays uh, many roles in maintenance of healthy life it is an outside shield which holds the body structure and barrier between the inner and outer environment so skin helps in regulating the temperature of the body. It acts as a immune defense, um, sensation messenger to the brain. Uh, skin is a unique organ and so much attention uh, is needed in terms of its um, balancing and well-being. So according to Ayurveda, there are skin types too. What the type of skin, pick the type of skin, cup a type of skin, and every type of skin has uh, a different uh, a care system, different therapies to take care of those skins and maintain um, the, those skin types. Diet plays important role uh, to maintain the natural uh, skin tone, the moisture of the skin, um, and to, to maintain the moisture of the contents in the cells of our skin. Uh, the water content decreases slowly with aging environmental factors, hormonal imbalances, lack of, uh, uh, lack, lack of sleep, um, vitamin deficiencies, moisture producing glands become like less functioning over the years, uh, resulting in dry and wrinkly um, skin. It also loses its ability to hold the moisture, loses elasticity, and results in the premature aging. So a uh, certain type of warm diet is recommended according to the skin type, uh, what to eat, what not to eat, um, skin toning after the cleansing process. The cleansing process is recommended. Uh, then uh, application of certain natural skin toners um, to, you know, to close the pores and tighten the the, the open pores and uh, um, the uh, exfoliation with coarse material like rice or almond powder is also 
uh, recommended to take off the dead skin on time to time basis, skin massages with a different type of um, natural herbal ingredients. So there are so many things in Ayurveda can do um, to improve the beauty of the skin, um, a beauty from inside out. Um, and the last but not the least is the detoxification. At the beginning, I said about the uh, good digestion is important, but then good cleansing um, and detoxification on time to time basis is also important to take out the deposition of the toxins in the body. Uh, a daily regimen for not only for the healthy skin uh, and healthy hair, but also to balance the weight. Uh, there are personal tips and uh, personal recommendations for that according to the body type and uh, uh, the lifestyle management is um, recommended, including uh, breathing exercises, uh, meditation, yoga, because Ayurveda is not just uh, the symptomatic recommendations, but it is uh, the harmonious balance of body, mind, and soul. So it's not just about the external applications or uh, change in diet, but also healthy mind is required for that balance. I would like to say um, I have a poem for Beautiful Inside Out, which is related to um, the harmonious balance of the mind, body, soul. We are beautiful inside out. Mother Earth gives us a strength along with the creation of the world. Growing, going through the mountains and hills sustain bonds of love and down to earth. Sky is the limit and infinity pillars surrounds good and bad spaces. Lies the pursuit of happiness, big dreams, fly the triumphs. Raise the respect and victory bars air that we breathe and carry out the words freedom to fly like angels and birds learn to hold in blowing winds life seeks the strong wings music to heal and ready for change fire is the truth of intelligence Burn the path of stones and thrones. Use the power to make the difference. Enlighten the cold hearts with warm love. Wipe out the darkness with inspiration. Serene rainwater drops and drops. Becomes an ocean of ups and downs. It heals and touches the minds and souls. Get over the storms and floods. Keep the balance of body, mind, and soul with health, happiness, and peace. Satyam Shivam Sundaram. Thank you. And I hope this encourages you to start 
your coaching of lifestyle management and uh, don't waste time because time is very important. Um, my website is www.ayurbeautyandlifestyle.com ayurbeautyandlifestyle.com or you can email me jaya sorry jmdaptardar at hotmail.com and you can browse my name jaya daptardar and you will find out all about me so uh, thank you very much and be beautiful inside out